Welcome to dronehacks.com. This is video number one. And in this video, we're going to take a quick look at the website. We're going to download the program. We're going to get it running and we're going to activate it. Okay, first page to have a look at is the blog post by DH Steve. In there, it tells you what drone hacks is and what it can do. It tells you that it's available on Windows. It's also available on Mac and Linux as well, as long as your distro has a GUI. Uh, it tells you all about the various hacks that are on offer. And then it comes down to the licensing costs. There are currently three licenses. There's the light license for the Mavic Mini and the Mavic 2 Pro. The reason it's called the light license is it only allows editing of parameters and enabling transmission boost. Uh, this is because of those two things it can do, so they didn't think it was fair to charge a standard regular license. Regular license pretty much covers all the other quads, and a professional license offers the same as regular, however it also unlocks the ADB root shell on drones. Uh, you can use the ADB tools on your drone to extract forensic data or hack away to your heart's content. Of course, you can still firmware flash and edit your parameters for free. Heading over to the bird map, it shows the list of quads that are available from the Spark all the way through to the Phantom 4 Pro V2. And I will just click on the Mavic Pro as that's one of the quads that I own. And if you scroll down, it tells you which firmware is recommended. And if I go to that one, it shows in green all the various things I can do. But if I was to choose, let's say 400, you will see that Flash Custom Fly Controller is in red. That means that this cannot be done on this firmware level. Please do check out the bird map and make sure that the quad that you own is available to do the things that you want it to do. So for instance, the Mavic Air 2 can only flash firmware and modify parameters. Once you're happy that this program is for you, you'll just need to buy a license unless you want to continue with the free version. Click on buy a license, scroll down and choose the license that you want. Your shopping cart will come out of the side. If you've been given a gift card number or a discount code, please enter it in this space here and click on proceed to checkout. When you get to this page, it'll ask you for some details, name, address, password, email address, etc, etc. Just fill those in and click continue. You then come to this page for the complete order. Click on the I have read and accepted the general terms and conditions of your shop. Scroll down and click on send order. This will then take you to the PayPal page where you can pay for the program, at which point you'll receive an email to confirm. That email and the password you created earlier is what you use to actually activate the program with, as I will now show you. Before starting the program, you will of course need to plug your quadcopter into your computer. This is done using a USB lead from the USB port on your quadcopter into the USB port of your laptop or your PC. Then simply power the quad up. Okay, once the quad is powered up, simply run the program. Once it starts up, you'll notice it says getting a compatibility map, uh, successfully received, searching for device, device connected. It'll check if there's an upgrade in progress and it will then say no if there's no upgrade in progress. On the welcome page, you will see your device here, your serial number, your firmware version and your flight controller version. At the moment, license is blank because we haven't activated the program yet. Some information here, uh, how to get the best out of your drone, etc. Give that a read if you want to. And on the side here, which hacks are compatible. And again, this is pretty much what you saw on the bird map earlier on. Now it's just time to activate it. So just type in your email address that you used when you brought the actual product. And your password. And click on login. And it says, the connected drone does not have an active drone hacks license. You have an available license available. Would you like to bind this license to your connected drone? This cannot be undone. Click on register regular license. And your connected drone was registered successfully. And that's it. So now, of course, we can have a good look through all the various settings, which I will come to in the next video.